That's funny. I've seen a couple combos with that card before. Um, what's Rogue playing? I'll keep one of them because I can get some corpses with this. Yeah, I'm not sure how strong Plague Death Knight is still, but there's no doubt. So even if Plague, even if Plague Death Knight is like a tier three deck, it's still a tier one annoying deck, and that's the problem with it. Especially because like I want to play Reno decks, right? There's so many Reno decks I want to play. Um, like this stream, I, I want to try uh, the Reno um, Tendril Warrior, and I went, watch. I'm gonna run into just Plague Death Knights playing it. Window Shopper, it's five mana right now, right? I, I wonder five to seven. That'd be a really big nerf. I don't. I wonder if they would do that or not. The Citadel stands strong. Oh, this is like. Excavate Thief Rogue? I'm not really sure what this is. But I, I know I've complained about it a bunch, but if there was just some kind of counterplay to Plagues for Reno decks, I wouldn't be as annoyed with it. But it's just annoying for like a deck to 100% counter another deck. Like I don't think there should be any 100% counters in the game. Like decks can be strong against other decks. I don't think they should just like cancel out their strategy. Let's see what we discover. Take the healing. Okay. So between the weapon and death trade, we have a ton of healing right now. Yeah, they should bring back the Hall of Fame or uh, Hell yeah. Retire it early. But like I said, I, I don't know. I, I I don't foresee Reno and Plague existing in, in this state for another year. I guess that's like my point, is I see them adding some kind of counterplay at some point. Still don't really know. Yeah, this guy's playing like Thief Rogue, I guess, with like Excavate sub package. <laughs> Like it's it's annoying, right? That you you can build a Reno deck, so you build your whole deck around like these Highlander cards, right? And then all Death Knight has to do is put Helia and down one down to ship in to just counter the deck. I guess that's the annoying part, right? Like if you had to build your whole deck around Plagues for it to work, but you don't. You could just throw Helia and one down to ship in. Some decks even just have Helia, and then they have like ETC with down in the ship, which you grab if you run against the Reno deck. So, very easy to counter. I'm gonna, like, obviously I don't need the healing, but I'm gonna save these for when he gets, uh, cause I'm guessing he's running Spectral Cutlass. Yep. So, I can freeze him for three turns if he buffs that up. And yeah, Lavender, like you said, I, I think either the mini set or the next expansion is going to be like Steam Cleaner 2.0. Um, next turn, I can Dirty Rat Headless Horseman. The Citadel stands strong. Frostborn hunger. All right, let's keep him frozen for a bit. But yeah, I... I I agree that I think Demon Hunter needs some nerfs, but I hope they don't just butcher the class. Like, I, I'll i be honest, I'm not a big fan of Paladin, but I think they over-nerfed Paladin. Like, the fact that Paladin is just, like, non-existent now, it was too much of a nerf. I think what they should have done, I think they should have um, done the mana nerf to the, um, you know, like the, the Rush Tiger because at three mana, that was way too strong. So I agree with that. And then the uh, nerf Shroomscavate, I think that could have been it. I think they needed to nerf the aura. Um, they, they, they could have nerfed Shroomscavate a little bit um, less, I think, too. <laughs> All right, next turn, maybe, we will Dirty Rats into Headless Horseman. <laughs> And yeah, like I said, the fact that the aura went to only one attack, that was just unnecessary. I think it could have went to two. 
or if they're gonna drop it to one, maybe reduce the mana by one. There's simply nothing I can do. And yeah, Chain, I will say that I think Paladin's still strong. Like, I think it's still a very strong deck. Did that always tell you what... I feel like that didn't used to tell you what card they stole. Um, but yeah, I think Paladin's still very strong. It's just not, you know, like the deck now. Which a lot of people, they only want to play the deck, right? So that's one reason that uh, Paladin has dropped off so hard. Um... Okay, that reduces some treasures there. I'm not going to swing here. This is going to be a grindy game, though, if his weapon gets big. But I don't need the health, I guess. Yeah, the thing, I love Thief Rogue, don't get me wrong, but yeah, once the weapon gets big enough, <laughs> it's it's very good in, like, the long games. Okay. If I can get the head fairly quickly, though, that'll be big. Okay, hell, he's good. It's going to be a grindy game for sure. Hey, I don't take any damage. The plagues will probably come in handy because this deck probably draws what Rogue obviously typically draws a lot. Yeah, it's crazy to me how you can pretty much just throw Hellia in the deck as like a win condition by itself. Oh, okay, that's big. Getting that very early. Um, take the taunts. Till death do us part. But yeah, I like I said, Chain, I, I am surprised that. Like, in a way. I'm surprised in a way that Paladin dropped off as hard as it did. But it's just because people, yeah, they want to play the best deck. So even if Paladin's, like, the third best deck, hypothetically, right? It's not good enough for some people. Which, I obviously, I, I care more about having fun. <laughs> like, I get it. There, there's people in the world that they just want to win, 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 right? They just want to sweat and try hard. I'm not about that life, though. Let's discover first. Oh yeah, see? This is what like what Reno should have. If your deck started with no duplicates, do X. That's how it should be to me. Alright. Um yeah, Viper and ETC would be strong here. Like I said, I agree 100% Viper or ETC. <laughs> that was just in his deck, okay. But but I agree 100%. ETC I think would be great in this deck. Oh god, his weapon's getting big. Probably use Primus when do the taunts. Uh, Rogue doesn't have Vanish right now, right? <laughs> Unholy, symbol of death. Another Hellion, yeah, I guess? I do burn a card, but there's nothing I care about burning, really. I'll do a three damage. I don't think it matters. He's just full heals, and I don't get it. Those, those are all bad choices, anyways. Um, I hate Paladin for being best class for like eight months. That is true. Paladin has been very strong for a very long time. Yeah, pure Paladin. 
Okay. <laughs> Runs two copies of that. Ace will put some more plagues in his deck. I can death strike that. You have earned an eternity of Wanna keep these alive. I'll just take the cheap thing. Something I can play. Um Lavender, you're playing Toxic's deck. Um Oh, nice. Yeah, I'll probably play that deck next. I think after this game, I'll be done with the, the Death Knight deck. Death a of life. Oh, that's rough. All right, we need taunts. Taunts and healing. Okay, draw some more plagues, please. Nope. Give me the freeze weapon. Ooh. GG, guys. Man, I almost don't want to kill this because then he'll overdraw and he could draw overdraw a plague. I need to kill it. You could use a trim. Clear cut. No reprieve. Um Oh, I could dirty rat something. Actually, I should have done that earlier. Don't be something really, really, really good. Okay, that's not bad. I should have done that dirty rat earlier, but it's, and he doesn't draw a plague. It's okay. Um, Chain, I don't know how many times Countess wins them games. Yeah, Countess in Pure Paladin was annoying because Pure Paladin had like a crazy early game. Then they could transition to the late game with Countess. That's right. Wait a second. I don't know if someone can answer this. If I play Grime Walker and then Crop Rotation, and then Threads of Despair. Does the Death Rattle have Poisonous? I think it will, right? Um, I want to get rid of the Taunt so I can smack his face again. I don't want him attacking anymore. Like, if I just play this and trade, it'll clear a bunch, right? I think so. I'm not going to math. I'm pretty sure it'll clear everything. The bull, the two be reborn. Oh, that did more damage than I thought. <laughs> um, take the spells, I guess. All right, give me some healing. That's okay. More plagues. He's got six, eight plagues in his deck. Lavender, I think they'll release a new 10 mana spell to counter Tendril. I can see that 100%. I'm almost surprised you can't discover the mage legendary spell. Like the chromatic explosion, I understand 100%. But I'm kind of surprised you can't discover the, um, the mage one. I think I do this and this. Man, this weapon is single-handedly winning us this game right now. This guy's probably so frustrated. <laughs> if, if possible, I, I want to test that theory uh, chain for science. Because usually when a minion that has poisonous, if it has a death rattle that deals damage or, or an effect that deals damage, it has poisonous too, right? Although, man, that last Threats of Despair did so much more damage than I was thinking. So you almost don't even need the poison aspect. It's It does a lot of damage. Like, it killed that Primus. I didn't even think it was going to do that. 
So I really underestimated how strong this card could be, I think. Yep, more healing. So he draws one plague and he's dead. He has... Wait, 11 in the deck? What, two hell? He has six, seven, eight, nine. He has 10? What is this? Did I miss lethal? Oh, yeah. See, that's my problem. I've, I've talked about this before, but sometimes I'm so set on just, like, value that I don't think about lethal. Like, I think more about staying alive than I do killing them. That's 100% a problem I have. <laughs> All right, this game's not over yet. He discarded a few cards there. Oh, nothing that important. Oh, almost. <laughs> Yay, plagues. <laughs> All right, so once again, he has 10 plagues in the deck, I believe. Oh, and I have my hero power. Uh, it wasn't even close, guys. All right, GG with that deck.